Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, back on Taijim. I guess it's been a, a, like a two weeks, I guess, since I last played here. Uh, let's just get into a game. This will be our ninth game on Taijim. Looks like I got a game. Let's see if I... Yep, yep he's playing a move. Let's play my normal opening. Ah, if you want to do that, so I will do the opposite over here. So I think I will uh, alternate on... Uh, Playing maybe on like OGS and KGS for Mondays. We'll see how that works. I like this sort of variation here. The influence is not very helpful in a cross opening. And I get to take the corner enclosure first. Um, let's do the large knight. Ah, taking this enclosure. This doesn't seem like a very important place right now. I think the most important spot was actually the top side. He should have enclosed here. So I get to play here first, which should be good for me. And even if he does do this, I will just take the corner. Ah, he's blocking this way, which is interesting. Just play Joseki. And now it feels like none of his stones are really working very well together. So I'm pretty happy with this uh, result. Oh, wow. He's going to go straight into the corner. Hmm. I think most of the time it's good to just try to keep your stones connected. I could block here and turn it into a fight, but I'm just going to keep connected. He can take this if he really wants to. And I will... I could turn now, but I'm just going to keep extending. Okay. Okay. And it looks like, uh, since we're both facing the same direction here, I want to try to take advantage of his area. And so I could attach here and get some potential points on this side. In fact, that could be like a simple way to play. I could also just approach and try to leave some Aji with a 018. So let's... Mm, Let's try the attachment for fun. Try to make his group over-concentrated. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Mm, okay. So now we'll just push here because I have my wall. And so I want to... Ah, okay, I can honey over the top. Now I want to try to use that wall. Looks like I can honey underneath now because there's a really uh, very bad shape for him here. And it's okay if I give up these stones, but it looks like he has to uh, play here. And we can just go back and fix our cutting point. Because if he cuts here now, it's a little bit difficult. If he cut here a little bit earlier, maybe it was still something that we had to worry about. Uh, but we had something on the outside. But now we don't, so I want to defend this. Hmm. That move doesn't really help him too much. This Hane at the top is going to be very nice for me. Now I have this uh, move at uh, J17, it looks like, and I just have two eyes directly. And I can also just push again, because this Hane, because of this cutting stone, is still a Hane at the head of three stones here. So just push one more time. He has to jump out. Okay. I'll just connect. And then Hani over the top, like I said I would. I can get this move for free. And I can still come out on this side. So he has to be a little bit careful here. So now we have to try to take advantage of his shape on this side here. It looks like this move is a little bit annoying for him to handle. But maybe I can just peep. If he lets me cut through that, that would have been very nice for me. And maybe we can just try to take advantage of this uh, connection here. We'll see if there's anything available. Oh. He is not going to try to do anything. 
So I probably want to try to connect up to my own stones as best as possible. I could push down, which would threaten this uh, Hane or extend, and that could be good enough. Mm, that seems like it's a simplest move. Looks like we can peep here and jump out. But it looks like if we jump out right away, when he pushes and cuts, it becomes a little bit of a liberty problem for our stones. So one thing we may want to do is either is a connect, do this sort of thing here. If I do this, then my group is likely to be alive, and he still can't really connect directly. So I think the bamboo joint, even though it's a slightly bad shape here, could be a, uh, the correct type of way to play. Which means that I probably should have potentially played it earlier. So yeah, let's just do this. My group is very close to being alive, and he still has to protect his connection on the outside. Hmm. So looks like I can just come out and cut. And we can try to surround the other side if we wish to. Uh, let's just protect. Nice and simple. Just keep jumping out. Looks like we can attack the center stones, which is nice. Just surround it nicely. It's playing very quickly as well. And turning here starts to become a little bit more powerful. Separating these stones. That move is not sente, but I can at least try to capture these stones, which is nice. And since he has this weak group here, and I have a little bit of strength, I think the proper sort of way to try to get this figured out is maybe to come over to this side. If I play low, he can attach on top, which could end up being slightly uncomfortable for me. So playing high might be the right way to go. But if he goes through the elephant's eye, Overtime it's a slightly weak shape for me. Begun. So I think playing low ends up being the the proper way to go here. Because there's a potential connection underneath. And we just take the shape points. Uh, we just cut through, which is really nice. I don't know why he played that move. It must have been a misclick, I'm guessing. Because now it looks like we just... Uh, Connect up. And we can potentially capture some stones here. There we go. Hmm. If I connect, that means these stones are just dead. If I don't connect, he can escape with these three stones. I don't know how much that matters, but with these stones dead, I think I'm fine with just connecting because it also leaves a lot of Aji here in the corner. Uh, okay. He can take this one stone. It's not really important. Blocking here allows me to connect up underneath. Hmm, That was a mistake on his part because now he can't cut me. If he pushes and cuts, it's an Atari. So I can just Tanuki. So it might be a good idea for me to come over here. Because he still has a little bit of weakness with these stones. And if there is a way for him to do anything here, I should be careful. Just playing the shape points. Hmm. Uh, Pokemon right in the elephant's eye. <laughs> it should be a nice, simple way to play. And just keeping all the stones connected.
It doesn't matter if he lives here or not. Okay. That doesn't really do anything because I'm connected all the way out and I have two eyes because these three stones are dead. Hmm. It's an interesting move, but uh, because these stones are dead, I think I'm just far enough ahead that I probably don't really need to worry about anything. There is a little bit of Aji here that he has to deal with. But he's probably just alive there. Nine, eight, There's still something seven, here, but six, it looks like just five. the corner is the place that's the most open. And it looks like I could even push up here because of the weakness in the area instead of just sliding. If I push... Yeah, that looks okay. And then I can slide here. And it even looks like I can potentially cut here. So you have to be a little bit careful. I think if I cut, he can Atari on the outside. Uh, but it looks like that won't really matter. I think I'm probably just alive already. I'm connected up to the top side. So I'm not really sure if there's anything he can really do. Nine, eight, seven, six. So I guess I can just make sure I'm living nice and large in this bottom left corner. Now the cut didn't really work because he has enough stones on the outside. So... I can just play some big in-game moves. Uh, so we can start with, hmm, what's the biggest one I want to do here? There's a lot of options. I think we can start with this one. This feels like the right move. Ah, oh, he's trying to make some points in the center. That's a good idea. But he has to be a little bit careful with his shape here. Hmm. So I can just Atari these and do this Tiger's Mouth, which allows me to connect up to my group on the top side. So he wasn't able to make the points in the center here. Uh, that stone's not really important, but reducing over here seems like it's pretty large. If I play the knight's move, though, he does have this peeping exchange. So it seems like I might not be able to do it. Nine, so it might be better eight, to play seven. a jump here instead. And now with this one, I have connected up all my stones really nicely. Hmm. So I don't really want him to cut me, so I want to do this exchange. This is a great way to sacrifice one stone and make sure to protect the cutting point. And then we can, uh, yeah, I think just Hane here. That's really big in game. Leaving this clamping on Aji here, especially with the problem here. Let's see if this works. If I clamp, uh, he goes down, I go up, he has to protect the cut, and I can Atari and connect out. So this seems good. And it looks like I can actually push and Atari still, and he has to connect up. So let's do that. That think I think that might be bigger. There we go. If he captures there, I can capture back, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, he's able to capture this stone, which can be pretty big. So maybe I can fix this in Sente. 
threaten to capture his stone. And these three stones are getting big. But I think protecting my territory might be better. Now, is there anything in the corner? There is some Aji there. If he throws in here. So I think it's a good idea to protect the corner now, especially since he has this extended out stone. Yep, those three stones are fairly large. Um, I guess it's getting pretty big to get some points on this side. And Nine, let me see. Eight, seven, I saw Hane is pretty sente. Five, four, three, two, one. I think I will connect here because there is uh, some big end game there for him. Okay. I don't know if this was the right way for him to play, but it looks like it's okay. I'm connected up with this stone, so I can just block. Mm, I have enough liberties, so I'm able to turn here, which Over gets rid of any eye potential that he has. And yeah, there's no eyes here. So I don't really need to worry about anything. Uh, this Atari is kind of big. Blocking here is starting to get a little bit bigger. But also rescuing this stone is pretty Nine, big. Eight, seven, it's a lot of six, stuff. So five, four. let's rescue the stone. Now there's a lot of Aji in his area. He needs to be very, very careful. There we go. He should not have Atari there. That was a really bad move. Um, looks like I can extend here. This is starting to be a little bit big. And I want to block on this side because there can be a shortage of liberties here and I don't want to have to deal with it. So is there any Aji here? If he throws in over here, I can play on this side. He backs off here. I play down. He Hanes. I connect here, which is an Atari on him, which would then be an Atari on me. So that's a little bit awkward. Um, Nine, I can probably... Eight, seven, six, five, I can probably play this move to defend this corner instead of playing a move on the inside. I can just connect. And then I can push down here and capture the stones. This throw in. Then Atari. Or I can play here. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Should I do this one? If I Atari here and he doesn't connect, uh. I think I could just play here. This should be fine. Aha, he is going to go for the Ko. <laughs> then I can just leave it because it's a Seki. So I will just choose Hane here. Starting to get big. This throw in sort of feels like something. I don't know why. Oh, that was a mistake. He didn't really need to do that. That's okay. Mm, I guess playing on the top is starting to get really big. A couple points here. Uh, if I block here, they cut. I capture, and it's a really big co, so I can just block. And connect here. Giving me another point, which is nice. Six, 
with these uh, spaces here, about eight space groups usually have uh, potential for some sort of um, some sort of seki in the corners. Looks like I want to play here to prevent two eyes. And then just connect, which threatens the Atari in the corner, which is nice. And looks like I can just throw in here. There's no way to make two eyes here, and I'm connected all the way up. So there's nothing to worry about. Uh, that move I'm not so sure about. Um, I guess it's big enough right now. I'll, I can respond. Why not? And just play some Hanes like normal. He doesn't have to respond. Uh, maybe eventually he might have to respond. But for now he doesn't. We can push. And push. And just a bunch of small in game moves left. So instead of playing a Hane here, I think I'm just going to go down. Uh, does this do anything? Nope, does not. So I could just block. Want to double check if there wasn't a uh, move at like K19 real quick. Uh, just taking points. Should be fine. Do I even need to respond to that move? Not really, but I will. Uh, that is actually not a point for him. Because he doesn't have anything here. Um... Do I have to respond to this one? Can I play here? He cuts. I Atari down and do this. If he turns, I just make two eyes. So it looks like I can just respond here. Gets me an extra point. Always good to try to look for that if you can. I could even respond on this side, honestly. But if I do this one, and he throws in, I can just Atari. And he turns, I just make two eyes. Now he doesn't have anything else to do. Not enough liberties for anything here. Uh, sure, I could, I could Hane here. I could connect. I don't think it really matters. Hane, he Ataris, I connect. He can Atari, there's nothing there. Uh, he connects, I just connect. I guess there's a little bit more Aji that way. I'll just connect solidly. And then I can just Atari. And Atari. Uh, that move is not Sente, but I can take a point here, which is cool. And looks like these moves are kind of point moves. So maybe I can play here. I mean, he gets the other two, I think. Nine, eight, seven. He needs to start the six, co in the bottom left five, now in order to four, even try to three, win the game. But two, if I capture first, it's no good. Uh, yep. I get another point here. He could have taken both of those and still gotten this. I forgot that was even there, so it's probably good for him. 
It's kind of a fun game. Oh, it's a 2Q. I didn't even notice. Play here. Why not? He always has this Atari. Uh, but he hasn't taken it yet. Looks like I can take the Ko here. Let's see if he ever starts this Ko, or if he just leaves it. He actually has some co-threats. He could probably start it. Oh, no. He said just go for the Seki. So it looks like I can just connect. Mm, yeah, I think that was his opportunity. His opportunity was to try to do the co. Okay. 550 points. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that seems right. He disagreed with the count. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if he just runs out of time or something. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Mm -hmm. He can play that. That's fine. Uh, there's a lot of Dame points, so might as well fill them in. Okay. 550 points somehow. 55.5. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. The way that the way that they did that. That's that's really kind of funny. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't too worried about the bottom left corner, but I probably should have been paying a bit more attention to it. Uh, so is there anything in the game I want to look at here? Um, I have the opening. I think the opening is actually very important here. Uh, this, I, I, I personally prefer this for white, but it's not really that big of a deal. And if he's going to go for the influence here, he should be playing high. But it, as I said, it's not too big of a deal. But this is uh, something you guys should really be paying attention to in your games as well. Um, this stone in the bottom left, it's not very important. What's really important right now, because black has this extension, is the enclosure on this side. Because this makes a little bit of a framework here. And since black played this high move, we want to try to be very consistent in how we're uh, playing the moves on the board. So with this framework here, uh, it doesn't really matter what I do to this bottom left corner because black can try to get some sort of a big Moyo area, Moyo potential here. Let's play the normal sort of Joseki here. And if it goes something like this, you see that black has this really nice, nice potential. And even if I can approach him, I double approach him here, I'm not really building a lot. So... It's sometimes better to just leave stones alone and focus on building yourself, especially when your opponent um, is giving you the opportunity to do so. Because when he plays uh, this enclosure, this, this one doesn't really make any sense. It can't build in any sort of direction, and the corner is still open. So if he was going to play on the bottom, he needs to at least play uh, a knight's move, and even more so, instead of playing on the actual bottom side of the board, he should be playing on the left side of the board. This is the side that has the most potential for white to grow apart from the top. And then uh, he blocked this way, which isn't necessarily a, a huge deal, honestly. Sometimes this is the better idea. Uh, but it does feel rather inconsistent with the moves that he has on the board. And so even if AI would say that this is perfectly acceptable, I still think it's important to try to have some sort of consistency. Let's uh, just play the old Joseki here. If it goes like this, I probably get to reduce him, but he at least is building influence in a framework on the correct side. And it feels like a consistent strategy. And I think after that, though... Ah, yes, yes. This this is the this was, I think, his biggest mistake in the game, though. 
all of this so far uh, is not necessarily terrible. I have a lot of territory. If we estimate the score, I should be probably ahead territory-wise. Uh, White's ahead by 30 points, which is how much I won by technically. Uh, so that makes sense. So what he should be doing here is this attachment that I showed before. But even if he doesn't play this attachment, he should at least be trying to come close to this corner on the outside. If I protect the corner and he jumps back, he is getting this framework again. He's getting a little bit of uh, potential territory here. And you have a game, oh, game request. And if I jump into attack, then this is a good timing for him to fight back because he has this influence, he has this strength here, and he needs to try to use it, especially since he gave me so much territory already. And if I protect my corner now, then it seems a little bit easier to attack this uh, this stone on the top. So while he played somewhat bad direction, um, I don't think that really can end the game for you. But when he plays this move, which is extremely inconsistent with anything else that he's played on the board, uh, this is where I think he gets far behind in the game. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. I think I think I was a little sloppy in this game, but I had a lot of fun. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully the uh, the Fox game on Wednesday will be a little bit better. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys also had fun. Have a good day.